Hi, welcome back to Green Lady Permaculture. I'm standing on my front patio right now. Um, it is the end of April, 2022. And um, basically, I'm wanting to go through and do a shadow video real quick for my front yard urban garden and also kind of do a bit of a spring update since uh, our spring comes so much later than everybody else. My yard is a lot behind a lot of yours. Um, our last frost date is June 15th. So we're still getting heavy frosts almost every night, but what is coming up is hardy. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. I do have a couple of plants. Um, one of them I'll show you right now. This is a um, lilac uh, that I have been wanting to get for the front corner of the yard. So we're just sort of harding it off over here right now. Um, right now it's about 8.30 in the morning and there's a lot of stuff out in my yard right now. I've got some projects going on like always. So, and I don't pick up my, sorry about the, street um i don't pick up my yard for videos this is just the way it is i accept that uh life happens no big deal i do have some things i have to do today uh, i need to water this area here has all been planted with shade plants this is the only time of day is early early morning they get some sun so hopefully things will start coming up over here i do see some green start over back in the driveway because we've done a ton of bark. So our crab apple is starting to bloom. And again, very little in the way of shade yet. Hi Merlin, it's okay. So this apple is gonna be blooming soon. I'm excited for that. All right, so we've got that. We've got another lilac over here. This is a little a Miss Kim. They don't get very big, um, four or five foot. So it's right here at the corner of this. And I'm thinking I wanna put that other one right here. I just have to watch out for the electrical lines, but they run this way, not this way. So that's where I think I'm gonna put that one. We got a lot of daffodils coming up i'm hoping eventually this will be you know fill in and we'll get a lot more daffodil spaces over here so pretty some of them are still getting a little bit frost touched even the daffodils get frost touched here um but there's quite a few different colors around this little rock pile um, I'm always worried about cars because we get some drunks sometimes, unfortunately, um, that take this turn real fast. So that's why all these rocks are placed here. This is more of a stopgap between us and the street. Um, just because we've literally had people drive up onto our curb before and take out plants before. So I wanted to get that established here before it became a problem or before something decided to drive up this way. So anyway, so that's there. Um, I believe everything else. Oh, I do need to point this out. Let's see how well it's doing. This is a tiny, tiny jasmine. This is a hardy jasmine. And I got it here and hopefully, hopefully this will come up and go up over this fence right here. And hardy jasmine are really pretty, great pollinators, just not used for anything else. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we're gonna start back in the back corner so I can get my... All right. So now we're on the, over on the back corner here. I walked over here because of the way the shadows are moving. I don't want to be in the shot. You'll see, I have a lot of things like dandelions coming up and I wait till they get bigger because I'm gonna feed those to the rabbits. 
I actually want them to bloom and set seed. We've got a lot of uh, uh, this is um, quack grass. We get a ton of it, but that's rabbit food. Um, this is bachelor buttons, uh, black tower elderberry. It's really starting to like this spot now that it's getting established. More of the bachelor buttons. I every year I take them and I, uh, after the heads are done and spent, I spread the seeds around. Um, I think they are a great plant. Azalea here is not in the best spot. This spot gets a lot of sun, which is why I'm hoping it'll eventually be blocked off. So I had two, I had one there and one here. This one died, it had too much sun. This one's still hanging on. So, if I can get it to focus, there we go. Um, it's a really pretty azalea, I just think that unfortunately it might take a few more years to get really established. And this is like this tulip here. I love them. They open up to the sky. Um, so they'll open up by the end of the day and they've got this like black um, eye down them. They really get really pretty and open up. And I don't know what kind of tulip these are, but there was one here when we first moved in and it's, it's been splitting up. We also, I planted vinca over here. I love the way vinca spreads. I know some people hate it, but honestly, it's not a problem here because barely anything is inv invasive except for, you know, Russian sage. Uh, lots of bark piles from us clearing up the last bit of the bark that was in the driveway just needs to be kicked around the blueberry bed has been filled out ah, I'll probably need to I need to go through and mulch all this um, I need to bring straw up here and uh, so we've got three blueberries in this bed so I need to mulch this and get on that but We've got tulips coming up and some grape hyacinths. And eventually this is something I hope will fill out as well. Though this probably was not the best spot to put them because we do get deer. But I hope eventually this uh, smoke bush gets really big and kind of blocks them off. Uh, then there's a nine bark over here and oh, I can't remember the name of that. I'll type it in. So much construction. Anyway. Ooh. Don't know how this is doing. Probably should take a look. This is that graft I did. And it looks like it didn't take something that knocked it. God darn it. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, something knocked it. This is all dead. Darn it, darn it, darn it. So, I don't know what I'm gonna put over here. Still have one that might have took. We'll see. Err. This right here, this is a hawthorn bush. So I might just leave this here and let it come up from its root. So, shoot. Anyway, um, I do believe this is an alum. More grape hyacinth. And I hope they all spread, but we don't get as much rain here so they don't spread as quickly. Dandelions. And there's that nine bark. It's coming back 
from the base. So this was its first year. There's a little bit when I planted it yes, last year. So anyway, the nine bark's coming back. Oh, I always forget the name of this one. It's like something berry, but it's not actually, oops, sorry about my scarf. Speaking of, people were asking me why I always wear a scarf. It's because I'm allergic to the sun. <laughs> I really am. Um, orange Rocket. And this is a Brambleberry. Or not a Brambleberry, um, Barberry. And yeah, it's the Orange Rocket one. So, it's got lots of thorns and stuff on it. And that'll help keep things away from over here. Which is where my grape is, which is not awake yet. The I have some peonies over here. Uh, Oya. Um, Rose of Sharon here, starting to come back, getting some tips. This one's a really pretty or, uh, pinkish one. And then I have a blue one over here. There's a blue, that's a blue Rose of Sharon. And Hiscaps, or Honeyberries. My rocks that I paint uh, for my signs. And then this has got a bunch of sedum in here, but keeps coming back with um, more and more uh, quack grass. Keep wanting to call it quake grass, because that's the way I was taught that it was called. Those stupid rhizomes. So. And then we got the hiscaps. These ones, hascaps, these ones are like a year or two years now. So they were tiny when we put them in. They were down, down here. Little itty bitty bushes. Expensive itty bitty bushes. And then this is a winter heather, which I like having up here. I want to get more of them because they are like the only pop of color I really have in this yard in the winter. Let's see. We still have the chicken wire fence that you can barely see because of the way the light moves up here, um, just to keep the deer off. No deer browse yet, which is nice. This is my um, Asian pear. I love these pears. We got some daffodils down here. I'll come around. This one here is a uh, Bartlett's. It got deer browse last year. That's why it's like this. And I have that stick there so it can be seen <laughs> because it was just blending in as just a stick for a while. Um, Jostaberry right here. So this will be a good one. It should get pretty big. And then this one is a apple. This is the uh, Golden Delicious. Yeah. And I planted it in 2021. So there's that. Oh, I need to go in deadhead. My anemones. Shoot. These need to be deadheaded badly. Oh, and then we got some guinea hen flowers. I love these things. They're so doofy. <clears throat> More bachelor buttons and clover. Lots of clover. And that is um, yarrow. And then this one, I always forget the name of it until I see it. Uh, Chijuro. Uh, and that's 
C-H-O-J-U-R-O. I'm probably butchering it. Um, but I love them. They're really good. They're a tiny Asian pear, but they're yummy. So, but yeah, hopefully things will really start coming in here soon. Got some work to do out here, but not a lot. The witch hazel still hasn't started um, blooming up yet or greening out. I was hoping it was going to green out when it was cooler, but it still hasn't yet. So there's the witch hazel. I forgot to cover these over here. This these are the um, honeysuckles that were against the back wall that were getting fried over there. So I moved them over here. So there's one there and then one up here on the other side. And then blooming almond, black lace elderberry, black lace elderberry. So hopefully Everything starts to come in. Oh, this is also, this is a Japanese maple. My husband really, really wanted one. So hopefully this is one of the blood maples, I think. Hopefully the spot gets enough sun. We'll find out once this sucker um, leaves out. And this, this is the um, honey locust. Honey locust is the last one to leaf out in my yard. So when that one leaves out, if something else hasn't leafed out, I start to worry. But everything's looking good. I like the way the shadows are moving so far. We're still getting plenty of sun. And I shouldn't have anything in complete full shade until this comes in. And we'll see what that honey locust does to all the fruit trees over here. All right. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we will talk at you later. <laughs>